I'm Gwen Preston of Resource Maven with a little look at my new series called Explaining Exploration. If you invest in junior exploration stocks, you know there is a lot to know about geology, from mineralogy to alteration to indicator minerals to structures and on and on and on. Understanding exploration news releases can require an encyclopedia of background information. And it's not only the geology that's hard, there's also a huge amount to learn about how we search for mineral deposits. There are suites of geophysical techniques, an array of sampling methods, and a whole variety of drilling types and approaches. Each gives different information and has different pros and cons. To understand all of this completely would take years of dedicated study, and of course, most investors don't have time for that. But that doesn't mean that you as an investor don't want to have a better handle on the basics. So to help with that, I'm currently running a series of articles in my newsletter called Explaining Exploration. The first article went through the different kinds of drilling and the pros and cons of each kind. The second article explained geophysics, how the major kinds of geophysical surveys work, and what, what kinds of information they provide. The next article will explain alteration, which is the ways in which the hot fluids that create mineral deposits change the rocks that they pass through. Geologists track those changes to home in on discoveries, so even a basic understanding of what those changes mean can help you know when an explorer is indeed getting closer to something good, or when things are not really panning out at all. I'll also tackle sampling techniques. I mean, we have soil grids, rock grabs, sediment surveys, chip and trench samples. And so what do they all mean and what do you take from each kind of result? And then I'll move on to resource estimates, which can be done in all kinds of ways with all kinds of results, both good and bad. Once I've gone through all of the exploration end of things, I plan to move on to the development stage. I'll go through what you need to know about permitting, how to understand, understand man, mine planning studies, various things about metallurgy, and all the different ways that you can raise capital to build a mine. If these topics inter interest you, the articles will be coming out weekly in my newsletter. Use the link below to subscribe if you'd like to read them, and if you have any questions about what I'm saying here, please ask away in the comments section below.